Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today is a beautiful 70 degree day here in February in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. We just don't get weather like this. Super awesome. So I'm gonna take advantage of this weather and we're gonna be working on a new addition to the farm. So we picked up a little Honda Element. If you've never ridden in one of these, it's like a toaster. It looks like a toaster going down the road. They're super duper handy. A very good little utility vehicle. All the seats kind of flip up inside side of it so it's like a little van or a little truck and it gets 25 27 miles to the gallon so that's why we picked that up we sold some of the hot rods and we bought some utility vehicles that we're going to be using on the farm to deliver eggs and run around so today's video is going to be about fixing some nasty 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 door dings that we have in the back and in the side doors of this honda element and what we're going to use is an eastwood paintless dent removal kit so come along today. I've never used this kit before. I'm gonna show you how a lay person would do this. I'm pretty good with my hands, so hopefully we get this all figured out and we'll let you know whether the Eastwood Paintless Dent Removal Kit will do a good job or not. All right, woo! Stony Bridge. So the first thing we probably want to do is open this little guy up. Comes in a nice package right here. You have instructions. I read through the instructions briefly and I already unwrapped the power cord. And what the first thing it says to do is take one of these gigantic long glue sticks and slide it in to the glue gun right here that comes with the kit. This kit was 59 bucks on Amazon, probably cost you at least 150 bucks to have all these dents and dings removed out of the car so I think we're going to save a little bit of money doing it the DIY style. So we'll let this thing heat up. It said let it heat up for 10 or 15 minutes. Set it over here to the side. Inside here are various scrapers. This is a little scraper right here. Uh, there is a slide hammer in here so what this does is it hooks on to the little dent pullers which are right here. I'll show you in a second and then you slightly tap those dents out. Pretty cool. Now, and it also comes with some cleaner right here to clean off the uh, area you're going to work. And this is another little dent pulling apparatus. You can see this would mount up against the metal of the car and it pulls the dent out. So you can just gently work it. Pretty nifty. I think it's neat. Now, you have a bag full of assorted sized little connectors right here. So this is what the hot glue goes on and then that sticks to the body of the car like this boom and then once it cools off you hook one of these tools to it like the slide hammer like that and then you would whoop, drop it <laughs> well, then you'd pull the dent out pretty simple let's get busy so this is the nastiest of all the dents right there you can see it it's a pretty nasty one. It's about the size of a 50 cent piece, if any of you guys remember what those look like. Now we'll go over to the driver's side right here. And these dents don't present very well on camera, but I think you can see there's a nasty one right here. It's probably gonna need some touch-up paint too. There's another little nasty door ding. And that one's not dented in quite as bad as the one on the rear. Let's go around here to the other side. And this is the rear door and you can see, man, that's a nasty one right there too. Got a little paint chip in there, but not really too awful bad. And then there's another one right beside of it, right there. You can barely see the waviness of it. So we'll just have to lightly get that one. And then this one should work its way out. And we can look down the fender here and we can see there's a crease in the paint right here. So something has been up against the side right here. So I think we're gonna try and pull that out just a little bit too. Let's get busy here. We're gonna start with the worst dent, the dent right here in the rear of the car. Here's our ding, and we have several different sized little plungers here, and we're trying to find one that's gonna fit basically that ding the best. And I think maybe, let's go with the medium sized one right here. And then we're gonna put the hot glue right on here, and then we're gonna stick it right to the dent. We've already cleaned this area really good with a little bit of glass cleaner like so and it says immediately go from hot glue straight to the body panel then allow that to dry for two or three minutes 
So I've gone around to every little dent and every little ding and I've placed a plunger into that dent and ding. This door right here has three of them on here. So there's a little low spot right here. There's a low spot right here. And then there's a door ding here. We couldn't quite get all the door dings covered. We've got one more that we're gonna have to work on. So as soon as I get done pulling this one out of the rear, I'll move it over here to this last door ding. This is fun. All right, I don't want to mess up first. So I don't want to go too awfully aggressive. So this sits flat against the body panel and you can see that that slowly, gently works the dent out. So that's what we're going to do first. We're just going to slip this guy on. So we slide this guy on in place here, just like so. And when I squeeze the handle, you can see that dent slowly working its way out. Pretty cool. It's going to take some finesse, just like that. I think we can pull the dent out with it. Really cool. All right, so this came off just now, okay? So the seal will not hold, the glue will not hold forever. So we're gonna have to re-glue it, but you can see the dent is much, much better than it was just a little bit ago. So we're gonna re-glue this tip right here, right on there, and we're gonna start working on another dent. And in case you guys are wondering how this glue comes off, so it's, it's just glue stick. So it just peels right off, just like so. Okay, again with the slide hammer. I like the slide hammer. Looking close. It's better, but still needs just a little more work. I think we're gonna move off of the hammer and onto the little gripper. There we go. There we go. And she pulled loose. Well, if we didn't get it, we were so super close. Oh man, we are just super duper close. You can't even see it on the camera really, but, uh, and if I look, I lose it. It needs to come out just a tiny bit more, but you can just barely feel it. Again, place this directly in the center. Now, the book recommended I circle it, I guess so we could find it. With this dark paint, it's no trouble finding it. Every imperfection shows, okay. Let that set up for a minute. Just kind of work it. I'm just working my hand. You can see my hand here. I'm just kind of working my hand. But you want to be in line with the body panel. You don't want to press another dent in up here. I think we got it. I told the guy that I bought this from that about the YouTube channel and told him to watch the YouTube channel, buddy. I'll show you pulling that dent out. Oh, I think it's 100% gone now. Oh, you might see the tiniest ripple right there where we were working. So, did it work? Absolutely. 60 bucks is what that kit cost me. You can find it on Amazon. There'll be a link down in the video description. Um, no more dent right here. The only person that would probably be able to see that dent is me because I know it's there. Now I've still got a little bit to work out down here, but pretty much we've taken every dent and ding out of this Honda Element. Super duper cool. This one right here, uh, just the tiniest, I mean, again, I see it, but nobody else probably would see it, man. So for 60 bucks, we probably saved 250 bucks in paintless dent repair and body work. I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me on the channel here today. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. We love to do some automotive content on the channel once in a while, so I enjoy working on cars and working on pretty much anything. So hope you enjoyed it. Please pound the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. All right? Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am, and I'm proud of what I made on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Tough shiski!